Just moments ago, we learned that more people were injured in that terror attack than we first learned. We're also learning new information on the suspect. He was an Islamic terrorist, and police say he spent six years in prison on terror charges before he was released last year. The alleged attacker is accused of stabbing several people near the London Bridge, killing two, and now we're told injuring five others, not three as we first were told. This happening four days before the president visits London to meet with NATO leaders. We have Fox team coverage this hour. Doug McKelway has details on the terror threats from Washington. But we begin in London with Kitty Logan, who is live with breaking details. Good afternoon, Kitty. Hi, Ed. Yes, that's right. The police here in London have just given us an update within the last hour, and they have confirmed that the two people who died in this attack were a man and a woman. They were both attending a conference on prisoner rehabilitation close by to London Bridge. And as you say, five others were injured. Police also saying that when the attacker went on the rampage, he was armed with two large knives, and we now know that he was wearing a suicide vest, which turned out to be fake. Now, he began stabbing people at this conference, but ended up on the bridge, where he was very quickly confronted by several brave members of the public. They wrestled him to the ground. Police then arrived on the scene within minutes, dragged the passers-by out of harm's way, and shot the attacker dead on the spot. Now, police have named this attacker as 28-year-old Usman Khan. He's a known extremist. He served time in prison for planning to bomb the London Stock Exchange. Now, his early release has raised many questions here. Already today, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said it was a mistake to allow violent criminals of his nature out of prison early. Now, Mr Johnson was speaking as he visited the scene of the attack today alongside London's police chief. Election campaign has incidentally also briefly been suspended after this attack. Now, meanwhile, police are searching Khan's home as part of their ongoing investigation. They're trying to establish how this convicted terrorist was allowed to strike so easily in the heart of the city of London. But meanwhile, London Bridge is still closed off while police gather evidence there. They say so far they have no reason to believe that anyone else was involved in plotting this particular attack, but they do reassure the public and say that there will be extra police patrols out on the streets of London this weekend.